morning and happy Saturday. Welcome to the vlog, vlog, the v, the vlog. Today we are talking about nose to tail carnivores. So we're gonna share some of our tips for getting started in experimenting more with oval parts. If that's something you're into, otherwise just join us for a fun-filled Saturday. You may notice there's something a little bit different going on in here. Yesterday was spring cleaning. Let's give a little house tour. So guys, what's missing? I am standing. Yeah. It used to be. We hope to make you proud, YouTube. So we took down all of the Christmas decorations. Our entire note. And this is just on. our spring setup. So it seems to be lots of florals. Couch. Marshmallow. Couch and then Gus friend. Alright, so we got Toby's cousin came to town today. Gus is gonna show him the business. Alright. He up to no good. And Gus said, no man. Gus, you tell him yes. Stop. Mm. Nearly get in the bed with Toby's cousin. Uh. Anyway, beyond our little living area room, we also cleaned out the guys. Kitchen. What's going on here? I don't see no bottles there no more. Where's the San Pellegrino? Eh? We put up some nice painting. Our mom brought us this, Plus and then our mom made us this, so she had us put it in a frame. But then also this one. Hello, do you see me? And then maybe this is a classic. Oh, hello, do you see me? That's Gus and Marcia has a baby. And then, yeah, now so spring cleaning, time to go to gym. Yes, we've got Operation Hot Dogs to Bratwurst, squats, and lower body volume accessories. Let's go. I was wrong earlier, I said Operation Hot Dogs for hours. While there are a little bit of quads sprinkled in, today's more of a glue focused day, so Operation Thin to Thick Pizza Crust. So after low bar squats, the exercises you'll see are kind of higher rep. So we want you to focus a little bit more on muscle mind connection, get that pump, hypertrophy work, saving ourselves for a heavy day next week. All right, let's go home to eat big to lift big. All right, we are back in the kitchen to make platter number one. We're gonna start by slicing up a rump roast. So rump roast is one of those cuts that you can like slow cook. We prefer to slice it up. And that's because when you slow cook one of these like roasts, the meat shrinks in size. So we just prefer to have higher volume. We you talked know? about that in our chuck video. Yes, we did. And a lot of people have been asking like why we don't eat a lot of ground beef. And that's the same reason why ground beef just like shrinks in size a lot. We just prefer meat that is less cooked. Yeah, so on that note, can you set it up so we can talk to her? Yeah. We're gonna talk to you guys and her. All right, so since we're talking about incorporating more offals into your diet. What do we refer to by that? We're talking about all the different odd parts of animals, such as 
pig skin and then the typical organs like liver, heart, etc. And so we just have to announce this now. We actually just finished writing an entire book about eating more nose to tail and how you can get into that too. So we include over 20 different odd parts with the taste, texture, nutrients, easy preparation methods. We include four staple OFL recipes that are pretty foolproof. We also and address over 20 frequently asked questions about nose to tail and we kind of just talk about our experience getting into nose to tail and the nose to tail way of life. Yes, so very excited. That should be out soon. We're gonna put more information in the description below if it's already out. If not, stay on the lookout. We'll do another video for that too. So just gonna segue into the tips now to incorporating more ovals into your diet. But when it comes to oval parts, like organs, oh. um, you really, a lot of, People question whether you have to eat them raw to get the benefits of the nutrients and that's just not the case especially in liver the nutrients are very stable yeah when you compare like the same portion size raw versus cooked Ashley did this not too long ago it turns out you don't cook out that many nutrients especially if you just do a light sear so when it comes to incorporating oval parts into your diet don't stray away from cooking them if you think you're gonna like the taste better. You don't have to eat your liver raw and frozen. I know or your it's kidney like, raw. I know it's like a thing, and especially kidney definitely tastes strong raw. Um, so find a cooking method that works for you. So that's tip number one. And one thing that's pretty safe to say is that adding butter or cooking something with bacon will almost always make it taste excellent. So if you are new to oval parts, maybe start with that. So start with some lightly searing it in butter or making it into stew with butter and bacon. I don't think you're gonna fail with that, you know? All right, slice up this roast. So tip number two for incorporating offals into your diet is to start with the easier cuts. And so our favorite recommendation for people is to go with beef heart. Ashley, film this. This is our offal freezer. Oh, it's popping out. And so beef heart is very similar to muscle meat. It doesn't have a strong oval taste or texture and you can sear it just like other steaks and get a very similar consistency. So this is a great starting oval. For sure. We actually list several other great starting ovals in our book that we'll be releasing. So stay tuned for that. Tip number three, while we do suggest starting with beef heart for more of like eating, consuming, we suggest not avoiding liver. Liver is a nutrient powerhouse, and I don't think you need more than 10 to 15 ounces per week to reap the benefits. If you really can't stand the taste of liver, you can make raw frozen liver little vitamin pills, so like multivitamins, and so the way you do that, store your liver in a glass container, and then just let it sit out at room temperature until it like slightly thaws out, okay? And then we are going to transfer to a cutting board and chop it up. You can slice it into really small little bits, like little pills, so that way you can swallow these whole and not have to taste it at all. So chop into little bits, and you can chase these down with water just like normal pills. And honestly, if you wanna get super crazy with it, you, I did this when I first started carnivore. I put out a serving, so I did about one ounce a day to start and I just put them all in these little vitamin pills so that way I would make sure that I would take it every single day. How adorable is that? And I would store this in the freezer. So this is not an ounce, this is not an ounce, but I would measure out an ounce of these, store it in the freezer, and then take this out each day and pull, take my pills. So little pills, you can swallow them down with water and chug oh, them. Oh, absolutely. This is absolutely the most cost efficient method to incorporating, incorporating a multivitamin into your diet. We are like, as a society, it's really strange. We're willing to spend so much money on those multivitamin like gummy pills, yet oval parts, especially liver, are so cheap and you're getting bioavailable species appropriate nutrients from this. Significantly more yeah, bioavailable. So make your own multivitamin. Don't, don't waste money buying that anymore. Yes. And even though we said like find a preparation method that works for you, so like if you try cooking liver, this is really just a great tip if you actually still don't like the taste of liver with butter or bacon. And so another tip for incorporating ovals into your diet is to camouflage it. And so what this could look like is grinding the organ or, or the organ, the liver and even the heart into ground beef and to make like an oval burger. And so if you do a ratio that's like maybe just 20% organ and 80% beef, you probably won't even taste it. And so that's a great little hack for just 
not even knowing that you're eating organ parts. Yeah, I know that Danny Vega has a pretty good organ burger recipe on Instagram if you follow him. So that's another tip. And then finally, you will notice when you start experimenting with more organs that different species have different tastes. And so somebody in the comments actually noted that they really don't like the taste of lamb liver, but it has like high B12. Yeah, so lamb liver, beef liver, chicken liver, duck liver, pig liver, pig liver, goat liver, they're all gonna taste different. And all the other organs too, not just Absolutely. liver. Absolutely. And so we've noticed that we actually really do like the taste of beef liver, but for example, I hate goat liver. It's like gamey and it has nothing good going on. That's just my personal preference because she actually didn't mind it that much. Yeah, um, a super neutral tasting liver though is bison liver. So you can try out bison liver if you still can't tan That might stand. be a good place to start. Yeah, yeah. But in addition, we have noticed that each pack of liver that we get has a slightly different taste. And that's going to depend on where we bought the animal, how the animal was processed, whether it was aged or not, and then also this time of the year and what the animal was eating. So its mm -hmm. diet composition, the different forages that it had access to in the pastures. And so this batch that we opened it's pretty up, mild. pretty mild, but the previous one, it didn't taste <coughs> as great. So we oh, had to saute it for and sure. we told you guys about that butthole liver. <coughs> yeah. Mm -mm -mm, don't sign me up for that. <clears throat> no, no. Where's the bones? There's the bones. Hey. So Ashley pulled out her chicken feet from her batch of bone broth and um, a little bit of the chicken bone right here. <clears throat> this is another odd part, just chicken feet and actually eating the bones for as a source of calcium. I'm sorry, you guys. As a source of calcium, if you get them soft enough, there's an actually a source of calcium without having to take like a calcium Bowl meal. They're super soft after being in the in broth for 24 hours. So surprisingly enough, another intro odd part would be chicken feet. They, besides like the actual bone part, there's very little meat on it, but there's a lot of skin, which is going to give you good um, collagen. Collagen, and then there's like some connective tissue. So it's very similar to just eating a chicken wing or a drumstick. You're just eating the foot, and I know that looks funny, but. It's really delicious, honestly. You add a little salt to it. Got yourself a little crunch snack, okay? All right, so in the guide to eating nose to tail, I wrote an entire section about getting over squeamishness and how we got into eating these parts. And so just an example of this is thinking about pork skin. So this is just a slab of pork skin. And by itself, it seems really strange that anybody would even consider eating this. But it's really funny because if you think of just pork rinds, all that is is fried pork skin. So we have this thing in our minds where we associate different things and then disassociate because it's in a bag. It's in a plastic bag, which is unnatural to begin with, or it has different ingredients added. There's one ingredient here, pork skin, whereas you can go to a store and get commercial pork rinds and have, if you're not getting like a good brand like Epic, just like a ton of additives and unnecessary sugar and salt. So it takes a slight mental shift to recognize and to understand and appreciate why nose to tail way of life is important and the book fully goes into this in how yeah. we took that mental shift. We're really excited to share it with you guys so I hope it's something that you'd be interested in um, and if there's no details in the description right now we'll let you know when it's out and can you show them this? So yeah. This. So all we're gonna do with this pork skin right now is just boil it in a pot to get it soft so we'll probably let this sit in here for about an hour to an hour and a half to get soft and then we'll maybe fry it up into some pork Ooh. rinds. So we will have this for plata number two later. Here we have the finest Cabernet shipped directly from the wineries in Italy for the Queen Marshmallow herself. Yes, it is. I, Queen Marshmallow, and I sip with Queen Light tendencies, and this is mm, 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 mm. Excuse me, I like this a lot. It's good. Love I, my wine. Goodbye. All right, it's wine. time to eat. Time to eat, yo. All right, platter number one of the day. Let me show this one. So we've got that lightly seared rump roast. 
That we just made into thin steaks. Yes. And then crispy chicken feet. It's not crispy today. Not crispy. But this was from the broth and look at these little nails. No, you do Ow! not need to clean Ow! you do not need to pluck these if it comes from a good source and you clean it off a little bit before making your broth. Again, personal preference. And we've got some of our braised kidney stew. It's chunky now. Nah. And raw bone marrow. And everything seasoned with a lot of redmond sea salt. Tell them what's up. Let's see you. Oh, edit, we forgot the raw frozen liver multivitamin pills. Can't forget that. Now it's time to eat. in the kitchen and this kept setting off our fire alarm so I'm gonna let it cool out in the snow but they're done extra crispy looking rather delicious you want some oh you want some of these oh oh you know what's up you know the sea boy good boy All right, it is time for platter number two, and it is a three plate kind of <laughs> night. So plate number one, say say show. Okay, so we've got the rump roast in thin slices. Focus on the steak, come on. There we go. Ugh. We've got those crispy pork skin crisps thingies. So all we did was finish them on the cast iron in butter, and they got nice and crispy. And then we've got two over sunny side up chicken boops. All right, plate number two. We've got raw plate. beef suet, of raw course, suet. and this is super soft after sitting in the fridge for a few days. They just crumble, crumble. And then, and last but not least, full yeah. chicken bone broth. Bone broth. You can't really see it. It's in there. All right. Well, that about wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and learned something about nose to tail. Yes. Um. Again, releasing that nose to tail guide very soon. Limpo should be in the description below if there's any like pre-ordering or anything, but we'll mention more about that next time. Yeah, but until tomorrow morning guys Behave like an angel <laughs>